Hey everyone. So today is very special, but every day is usually very special for me. I have my puppeteering friend, Jared. When you met me, I was probably at the peak of like my Muppet fandom. I was learning to appreciate it with a different set of eyes. As a child, I just loved it all without thinking too much about the, the technicality or like the puppetry or anything going on sort of below the screen. All of that kind of like went away and until late teens. And then I was like, oh my gosh, puppetry. Did you have a goal in mind or was it just like, all right, this right, I'm just throwing myself into the end of the, the fray here. Puppetry to me felt like this attainable thing in some form because it felt like a less flooded rat race than say the music industry or the, the acting world. Mm -hmm. yep. And and it was a way for me to explore the heights of all of these things in encapsulated into one genre like of, of, of expression. I was very fortunate. I got to train at the Jim Henson Company. Kevin Clash, whose documentary and his own story uh, was so, so vital and inspirational to me. And he said, what you need to do is create your own stuff. If you want to like stay on the radar or whatever, like just don't let this die. Don't let this muscle get soft. Don't like let your instrument get, get dull. You need to keep going and you need to keep creating. And I didn't know what that meant for me at the time. I, I started to diversify. Uh, and I, I, I zoomed focus out of the hand and rod puppetry. Fell in love with marionettes. I fell in love with live theater. I feel the best and like the most of service when I'm just in character and just interacting people and just giving my time to them. What is something that you discovered through puppetry that you didn't expect to get out of it? Mar I marvel every day at, at, at puppetry's ability to make tangible the magic that is inside of the imagination of the child and and that can be reawoken and re-nourished in the in the mind of the of grown-ups it's so rare for someone's cynicism to remain icy and firm in its disposition when they when you open up your heart to that person with a puppet you mentioned my favorite little dog vampire and i don't know if he's around oh hello you mean me <laughs> Dogula! Is it, is it okay if I talk to Brandon alone? Yeah, you go ahead. I, I'll be right here if you need me. Oh yes, yeah, so yeah, don't go far. I uh, live strictly on a diet of 100% uh, pure pomegranate juice. Oh, so lovely. So does that make you vegan? Oh yes, vegan, 100%. We have to preserve you, Dogula, because you are a treasure in my eyes. <gasps> well, thank you so much. Tell everybody, say it a little louder. <laughs> thank you, Brandon. Thank you for having me and thank you for your kind words. Look who's here. Mm, okay, that's my time. <laughs> See you later. Well, my Instagram is at Jared, J-A-R-E-D-M Ramirez. See you later. Bye. Thank you.